All right, not many organizations <laughs> have survived 111 years. But the Girl Scouts have. I used to be one. <laughs> this is so exciting. There's a Girl Scout headquarters in Orlando, and they put together a huge collection of vintage memorabilia. West Shoes Michelle Meredith tells us about the new exhibit, which dates back to the very beginning for the Girl Scouts. Everything you ever wanted to know about the Girl Scouts and more is here at the brand new Girl Scout exhibit in Orlando. Thousands of items from the original brownie cameras to an elaborate Girl Scout quilt took 17 years to collect and is a visual history of an organization that started in 1912. The goal? Making girls self-reliant, a radical concept. Well, and learning how to be proper young ladies. Uh, they were learning how to play the piano and how to paint and how to basically marry a man. <laughs> Did you know the first Girl Scout uniform was actually blue? By 1919, it switched to khaki. Legend has it to hide the dirt better. Well, this was really hot back but in that's, the day. The wackiest looking uniform came out of the 80s. I personally know about the uniform in the 60s. That's me on the right, an Air Force brat in the Panama Canal Zone. There are vintage dolls, vintage Girl Scout cookie boxes. And in the early days, the cookies were baked by the girls themselves. This is the original recipe of the Girl Scout shortbread cookie. So take a picture. <laughs> in the beginning, they also made their own uniforms. There are records with Girl Scout songs, Girl Scout campsites, original sleeping bags, a bugle used to play Reveille, Girl Scout camping bloomers, because back in the day they couldn't wear shorts. Now one of my favorite items in the whole museum is this little itty bitty brownie bathing suit that they used when they were camping out. Got the little emblem right there. There's a collection of memorabilia from a Girl Scout in Bavard County. Legend has it she was so proud of her Girl Scout roots, she wore her uniform when she was in her 90s. It's a flash from the past and an archive of an organization that has survived over a century in an ever-changing world. In Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.